All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about why when you don't live a fast-paced life, when you live in apathy and you don't challenge yourself, it's very easy to be emotionally disturbed. It's very easy to be knocked off center. When your main goal, when the main thing you're striving towards in life is pleasure, it's always gonna disappoint. It's always gonna make it to where if you don't get that pleasure, you're gonna be dissatisfied. Now, pleasure's a part of life, pleasure's an enjoyable part of life, but again, if it's your focus, that's gonna cause a bunch of emotional turmoil. But at the same time, let's say you are a purpose-driven person, you're focused every day, you do everything you can to put in the best work you can, there's still gonna be times where you're gonna get emotionally triggered. You might be working on your business, you might be working on your craft, whatever that may be, and you are still gonna get emotionally triggered. There's still gonna be things, things that happen that make you sad, things that happen that piss you off, right? Because we're gonna have our highs, we're gonna have our lows. And the fact of the matter is, okay, look, if, if, you're, if you choose to live in apathy and you choose not to challenge yourself and you're okay with that, Hey, that's a win. That's a win in my eyes. If you, if you choose to play video games every day and eat Cheetos, and that's your your life choice of how you actually at your at the core of your core, how you want to live. Hey, I think that's a win. But I think a lot of people who live in apathy are just afraid to actually step into things that are challenging, right? So. If you're living in apathy, so if you look on the scale of energy, levels of energy by Frederick Dawson, anger is above apathy. So someone who's apathetic is going to experience anger is a high. Anyways, a little bit of a digression. So we're actually now going to be talking about just when you're on your purpose, when you're living a focused life, a lot of times you're going to be feeling really good. A lot of times you're going to be amped up. You know, you've heard of the flow state where let's say maybe you were uh, playing the guitar and you practice the guitar every day and um, man, you're kind of, you're kind of rusty for the first 10, 20, 15 minutes, man, I can't get these chords. You're kind of not feeling it. And then all of a sudden it just hits and you're just, you're stringing chords together like crazy. You're playing songs, whatever it may be. And you're just, you're just jamming out. You're just jamming out. Kind of the same thing with whatever you're doing in life. Once you get into that flow state, it's almost as if nothing else matters and you're just locked into that flow state. And whatever's going on in the, in the outside world, you know, some, there's some problems with the family, there's some problems with your siblings, some problems with uh, the business, some problems with whatever it may be. I, I really believe from my experience that being in that flow state is what makes life so awesome. Because there, there's never one time, there's never one time where you're scrolling through Instagram three times in an hour and you feel good about yourself doing that, right? It just doesn't happen. Those things are very shallow pleasures like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. <laughs> and they're just, they just don't satisfy you when you're on them for too long. There, there's no focus there, is my point. When you're focused, you're locked in. In the book Deep Work, it said, man is most happy when he is focused. And don't quote me exactly on that, but that was the general premise. Man is most happy when he's focused. That's why, real quick, I'm gonna digress. I'm gonna hop into this point. Uh, Stefan Arneo did a speech before he passed away, rest in peace. And he talks about how men in the 20s, men in the 30s, 40s, 50s, Back then, in general, dude, no one in society cared about how men felt. It's like, dude, men got up, they went to work, they didn't complain, they came home, they fed their kids. That was it. Nowadays, guys are, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling good, right? Because that's a society we live in. We live in a very, in a society where it's very easy to be distracted. It's very easy to fall into depression via excessive social media use, via, um, 
eating processed foods, etc. right? But in this society we live in today, especially if you're a busy person, you do have to have things that you do, healthy things that you do, not drinking alcohol, not smoking a bunch of weed, bunch of cigarettes, healthy things that you do to actually help you with um, emotional, um, when you get emotionally triggered, say someone uh, gets some bad news in the family, starts to make you really sad and you can't lift yourself up and get your ass to work. Um, someone says something that pisses you off, situation pisses you off, whatever. Whatever it, whatever it is that's kind of putting you in an emotional state to where it's harder for you to get into that flow state to where everything's just very light, everything's just very easy. So for me, a couple things I do, there's one thing called EFT, which is emotional freedom technique. It's where you tap and look it up, just type in EFT on YouTube. I'm no expert, I've just tried it and it works for me. You tap on certain points on your body and you state affirmations to yourself like, I love myself. I'm perfectly happy with the progress I'm making right now. Life is good. And then you just keep doing that until the anxiety goes away. And what I'll tell you is it helps. But um, one thing too is what um, you've got to find stuff. I've actually got to go. I'm literally about to go to work right now. You've got to find stuff that works for you. Whether you meditate for 20 minutes, whether you do yoga, stretch, find things that when you get pissed off or when you get in a down mood, you can go to those things and you can recover so that you can actually have a productive day instead of just, oh, poor me. No. Lift yourself up and have an awesome day. Peace.